Yeah. All right. Worldwide. World, worldwide, eh? You know where the... I was thinking about this uh, this scripture here. Where did I... I was reading it this morning. And... Uh, you know, okay, I got it now. These things... First uh, John chapter uh, 2 and verses... Uh, just going to read two, uh, two scriptures. Uh... This is my experience, right? This is what uh, where the Spirit of God guides, where the Spirit of God leads. Uh, Louis, I don't know if I got used to uh, this year, but uh, it says here in verses 26, These things I have written unto, unto you concerning concerning those who, had, who tried to deceive you, but the anointing which you have, uh, that you received from him abides in you, and you do not need, Need that uh, anyone teach you, but as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things, it is true and it's not a lie. And just as I taught you, he will abide in you. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, I thank you, Lord God, for this day, Lord God, for a uh, time that we could be here, Father. I pray, Lord God, that, uh, Lord, that I share, Lord God, my experiences. I share, Lord God, uh, where, where you let me, where you put me in different positions, oh God, and I ask you, Lord God, that you anoint every year, Father, and I, and, and I thank you for it, Father, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. You know, it says that uh, you don't need no man to teach you. It doesn't mean that we're, we're, uh, we learn from pastors. We learn, I don't know. <laughs> Pastor, uh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, 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 Maybe you could hear me, Lou. Yeah, it's yeah, in my way. I'm not first time. It's first time I uh, I use a mic like this. So you're not okay with that? Uh, no, no, like uh, okay, that. okay. Anyway, like uh, but we need the sound for YouTube, right? So you have to have a mic. Sorry. All right. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Anyway, like uh. I pastored about eight years in Cash. I built a, a church, and uh, and I and I taught the Word of God, and I encouraged people. You know what I mean? Like uh, that was before the the, the, the native sin started to come back again. And I know both sides of it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like uh, uh, we were we are taught to go back into uh, your old ways, the ways of drums and all that. But uh, but in the same time, like we have to. We had to have wisdom. We had to have the love of God. We had to. Uh, we have to. My goodness. We we have to. Uh, but we yeah we you know we had to walk in the love of God and wisdom. And I used to hear I used to hear preachers really preach hard against against the Aboriginal people the way they worship the way they teach and all that. But you know like but that's but. Uh, but one thing that, that God uh, show, uh, let me, like, uh, showed me too, like, uh, that I have to learn to keep my mouth shut, uh, to be a living epistle, to be the salt, to be the light, and to show the love of God. You know, like, uh, that's the, God wants to use you, like, wants to use us in a different, in a different uh, places. And now, uh, I never thought that, uh, that I, uh, I know my, I got my culture, my language. I got my uh, way of uh, living and all that as a native. You know, like uh, I know the survival skills. I grew up in the land and all that. And uh, a native, native way, right? And I know like, uh, and I know, uh, you, know uh, you know, the Indian Act and the treaties so that, that were they're all broken and all that. But uh, God has his people in every place. God has the people in every place. And uh, I remember when I left cash, when I lost everything, I just took my guitar, I took my, uh, my mics, and I, I gave my, my house to my kids after I built uh, the church back home. And I never thought that I, I would, uh, I, would start, uh, I looked for a job. And uh, I took a one-year course, or I used my EI to take a course on the social work. And right away, like... Uh, I had a call to, uh, from, uh, they sent my resume to the Friendship Center. You know, like uh, I had a call, said, can you come, you know, for uh, for an interview? And, and, that's what, and I've been there 14 years now at the Friendship Center, not knowing, not understanding my culture, 
there's a phys uh, natural or physical side of a, a culture, right? Every, a language and all that. And there's also the spiritually side of the culture, the teachings, right? So, uh, you know, like I learned a lot of stuff through the years. Like, you know, like uh, I, I'm a kind of person that uh, I don't want to argue with it. With the, with the Bible, Lord. I don't want to argue with doctrines. I don't want to argue with people. I want, uh, I want, uh, I just want to share Christ. You know, like, uh, when, and, and I guess that uh, friends of Cedric knew that I was coming. They knew that I went to Bible school. I was a pastor. So when I first walked into the friends of Cedric, when I got, I, uh, when I, when I got that job, like 40 people applied for that job. A lot of educated people, right? And uh, I guess what kept me there because of my language, my culture too, like, you know, my, so I got in there and now, uh, and when I got in there, like, uh, people were, uh, people were just quiet and staring at me and everything, you know, they thought they were, uh, that, I guess the director said we had hired a lifelong care worker that we're going to work with the elders. And he said, uh, this guy is a priest. <coughs> Excuse me. This guy is the priest. <clears throat> That's what they saw, right? He's the priest. Yeah. And I don't know, like, and, I, and they put me to this woman that's so mean, that don't like the church, that don't, it's so strict and it's so mean, like, you know? But uh, she became a, a, a good friend of mine. You know, she, uh, she, be, I, I took what's good from her and I left all the evil, you know, the negative stuff. That's, that's what I did, right? So, uh, so here I am at the, at the, at the friendship center, and at the, they they transfer me to another another uh, health outreach. That's what I, that's what I do now. I I, I provide health outreach, and uh, and um, and I remember when I took over the when I took over the that that position held when they, they promoted me to another job. So uh, and there was a there was a lady there that put the health care. The health fair and the uh, health fair and and uh, she put on uh, on uh, on the uh, healers medicines, you know. I mean, like uh, so uh, they they uh, you know this is your it was a, so anyway, like uh, here I am in that in, in a lot of people showed up in the in the health fair and they 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 will bring in these uh, these partitional nurse. A partridge wood, they'll bring them in. And uh, here, uh, oh my goodness, I was introduced. I was introduced to the, to, uh, that I was going to take over after after this lady here. Not, her name was Nancy, that I would take over that position. So she organized the, the, the heal, healers. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 were, they organized uh, uh, different healers. And there I am. I, I you know like background a uh, pastor and I know the word of, you know the word of God and um, here I am there and uh, I, I was just starting to learn again what I taught in uh, in as a pastor you know like uh, to learn to use your authority and all that it's so different like uh, from the pulpit to to the you know where the territory or to uh, to the place where God puts you is the difference between the church. He, in the church, you can say, oh, in, it's easy talk, right? Easy talk. And then you're not there. You're not, you're not going to get persecuted. There's no pressure. You know what I mean? There's only uh, Christians there. You know what I mean? Like uh, you're building. Like, that's what, uh, you know. But going down, uh, um, being in those positions, you feel that, that, that pressure. You feel uh, different, the, the demonic stuff. You feel like uh, the pressure on every side. It's the different. Now I have to learn to use the word of God. The real in the battlefield. Now when I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not at the church. I'm in the in the battlefield, and I said, Lord, I, I touched my people. You know, like the uh, the word of God. Now I, I have to stand in the battlefield. You know what I mean? Like, uh, and I remember, like uh, they brought in this uh, this woman. They call him a, a partitional nurse, and uh, this woman, uh, she's a she's a psychic. The, but they call him a they covered up like a partitional nurse, right? So I was sitting way in the corner when uh, 
when she was she was performing her stuff. She was telling the people like uh, she she could uh, prophesy, speaking that she could leave her body to other countries. It, like that, like, this is uh, psychic stuff uh, right in the front of me, right? And I was sitting over there, I was just listening. What 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 did I get myself into, right? You know what I mean? That's what I said to me. What did I get myself into? So this woman started uh, uh, doing this uh, service. He started to perform stuff. She like uh, she, you feel, but this is, wasn't a native woman. This was a, a psychic woman. Oh, so uh, that was my job. Like, but I changed that program around after, and after after I took over, right? But then I'm, but I remember. I, I remember I said I was sitting in the back and what did the guy get myself into? Like she was starting to do stuff. She was starting to prophesy on people like uh, prophetic in a, in a wrong spirit. It's it's I knew right away I knew there wasn't it wasn't the spirit of God. I right knew I and I and I was sitting over there and I and I and I was sitting there about half hour there. I was sitting there about half hour. And all of a sudden I, uh, you know I began to pray. I said, Lord, I just, I just come to you right now in the name of Jesus. I said, uh, I come against that. I was uh, talking. I was praying to myself. I was praying to God, right? I was talking to God, and I said, Lord, I come against that spirit right now. I, I bind that spirit. I, I, I destroy the works of that 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 enemy. In, like uh, in the middle of the her sessions, her performance, you know. All of a sudden, I see that woman there picking up her stuff. But I see that woman packing up her stuff, and I said, "I got to go. I had a, I forgot I had to do something." And it, and I know it was the spirit. That that was. A, I'm not saying that uh, ever since the spirit, right? But there, you know, when you're when you face the uh, spiritual battle, you know when you're spirit. So, so I bind that spirit, and that that spirit that left. And she came and looked at, look at me like this. She turned around and looked at me. And a lot of people that were there didn't know I was sitting over there. I was a new uh, work, uh, health outreach worker. Then I bind that spirit. Yeah, I bind that spirit. I was, I was up to against uh, the, the en uh, enemy. And uh, like, uh, but you know what? That, the reason why I shared that scripture is it, it's the anointing that, you know, that's going to show you. It's the anointing that will teach you. And a lot of people mis, uh, mis uh, uh, interpret the scripture. It says, no, no one, they don't need no one to teach you. No, no, God plays fivefold ministry. Yeah, so anyway, like, uh, so that I bind that spirit and that woman took off. And I know it was a spirit. And uh, that, that scripture came to me and says, rejoice not for the, for the spirit are subject unto you, but rejoice because your name are written in the book of, in the Lamb's book of life. That's what God told me. So I didn't rejoice because that spirit were subject unto, unto me to my birth, but I rejoice because because of uh, because of uh, my name is written in the book in the, in the Lamb's book of life, right? I rejoice for that. So uh, I don't try to uh, praise myself, you know what I mean? But that's the scripture that the Lord gave me, and that was my first encounter with that. Now, now. Uh, I like I used to teach the the word of God, like you know. Then after that, they put on a, a feast, and uh, like there's different type of feast, and uh, they put on a feast and a, a, a fall feast, and uh, what well, you know, like I didn't, uh, I struggled with that, and uh, I, the reason why I struggled with it because I know. There are weak Christians, and I know there are strong Christians, because uh, food that was offered to uh, idols. That's where you know what I mean. And I had to be wise. I had to uh, be led of the Spirit. I had to ask the Holy Spirit that abide me to uh, you know what I mean. And uh, I, I felt like uh, when I seen the feast prepare, you know, I felt like Peter. You know, when that the sheet came down from heaven in a dream. And he said, uh, "Eat what's what, you know." And Peter, oh, and Peter said, "No, I don't want to eat it. You know, and I, I don't want to eat anything unclean. And I don't, want, you know, I don't want to eat that food, right? I don't want to. It's uh, you know, these are the people, the uh, the creatures. I don't want to eat those things. That's exactly how I felt for the first time. I don't want to be part things that have been offered 
into uh, to uh, into the spirits. That's a decision I have to make, right? So uh, anyway, like uh, I struggled, I struggled in the battle with the Lord on that, right? I said, Lord, I don't want to eat those things. I, 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 it makes me sick, right? It makes me sick, you know. And, I, and I, the Lord told me, like, uh, the Lord told me, like, uh, like uh, in chapter 15, it talks about food in uh, Romans chapter 15 or 14, right? Judge not the, your brother what he eats, right? That's what he says. That, that's the food that he's eating. Then you go back to Corinthians. He says, uh, do not touch those spirits that have been offered to idols. That's a different uh, different uh, teachings. Here he's saying, don't judge your brother, but he eat the food that God creates, right? In chapter 4, first time that came, I understood that. They were eating, uh, uh, they were, they, they, uh, and um, then, uh, then, then uh, that that uh, you know like the I, I felt so unclean. I mean I, I felt uh, I don't I don't want to, I don't want to touch I, I don't want to touch those things uh, things offered right. Then I I begin to see like marketplaces. They do the same sin when you go to marketplaces. The food that uh, we, that we eat sometimes we don't know that those food has been offered to idols. When I was in Toronto, we don't know. But you know we have to bless our food. We had God to cleanse it, and uh, then we could eat it, right? Without, without, without asking nothing. And that's what I learned. Like I said, do not judge your brother what he eats. But, you know, be wise. If you see someone is weak, don't, don't eat. Don't eat and, uh, because you're going to offend that brother. It's all about uh, Christ. So it's all about him, right? So uh, that's one of the, after that, I, I struggle with that. You know, like it's different as a Christian, a native Christian. Uh, you know what I mean? And uh, like, uh, so that that that's what happened. So uh, that's one thing I have to discern that I have to uh, go ask God's wisdom. I have to protect myself, right? To walk in wisdom. And then uh, I didn't I didn't like myself in that. I almost quit. I don't want to be part of that. You know, the, but then at the same time, I felt the love for the people. I I uh, I had compassion on them. I want them to get to. I want them to get saved. I wanted them to get to, uh, them to know the Lord. Then um, I was. And I guess everybody knew that I uh, that I was a Christian. That I go to church. That I serve the Lord. People knew. And I and uh, one time they were they were they were having a meeting. I was just want to share this here. They were ha I got pulled over twice in the office. Pulled over twice in the in the office, so uh, the uh, uh, Kirby and uh, there were four of them anyway, uh, a drummer. So he said uh, at the meeting like uh, this is this is this is supposed to be French is supposed to be a culture place, right? A culture place and uh, and uh, we we don't want other stuff to come in. We will we're, this is the, the government like, to. Sponsor that, and they give money, funding to the native people. Of, uh, you know, who sings there. So, uh, and I and I spoke up. I said, you know, I have a status card, and I uh, I have a, I, I have you know I, I have my language, I, I you know I have my culture, I, I live off the land. You know what I mean? But one thing I didn't do is uh, I didn't have is a spiritually side where you were where where you do your drum, where you do your you know what I mean? So that's what happened, and uh, they pulled me aside, and they says, uh, he, he tells me that they told me, George, uh, I don't know, like uh, the, uh, they were saying about the, what the church did to the native people, resident school, and uh, they all stored that at me on my face, right? But uh, I remember like going there, and uh, they said that uh, that I seen a Christian that. Uh, they brought up this. I just want to say, they brought up this uh, this Christian that went to a strip bar. You know, like went to the, that's in Toronto. In one of the meetings, they went. They said they, they were accusing them. I guess they was using that to to attack me, right? And uh, and then uh, I I sat in the it was in the room. I said uh, then I said I'm not a man like uh, to, uh, to judge. I said I'm not a man that uh, I don't want to put anyone down. 
and uh, and uh, and I said, uh, I don't want to judge you guys too. I, don't, I see a lot of stuff in your life. I don't, I don't, that I don't agree. That your lifestyle, I don't agree with that. But I don't judge you. And I said, I don't want to judge your uh, my brother that that has fallen or that had been tempted, right? And I said, I'm not a man to judge. So let, let let God be the judge, you know. And like, uh, and I said, uh, I don't think uh, fighting never gets anywhere. Arguments never get anywhere. I said, beliefs will never give us anywhere. And I said, and uh, church made a mistake. And we we all human. We you guys, you know, I could you, 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 like I said, uh, and I said like uh, I could point a lot of stuff on you guys. I don't want to do that. I'm not here for that. I'm here to work with you. So uh, that that's where. Sometimes uh, that's where God puts me, and uh, and over the years there was people that, that that put me on the side. There were men like poor men that would put me on the side. There, they became my friends. I worked with them. They became my friends, and uh, you know, like, uh, and I said, uh, I don't, I don't want to. And he said, he, uh, he tells me that you know, there's a lot of hypocrites in the church, hypocrites, you know. And I said, they you know, like, uh, I know. I said, I understand that. I said. And I just want to tell you too. I said uh, there's a lot of hypocrites in the traditional, tr traditional. Uh, I said, you know what I mean? That they, they, they don't practice what they teach. They don't practice what they they don't live it. And they, you know that's what I said, right? And I said that's why I keep telling you that uh, I, I'm I'm not here to judge. I want to live for God. I said. <laughs> so that's where that happened. Then I was tested many times. It was, but uh, it was the spirit, of, the anointing, the spirit. I know the spirit of God was upon me. I knew that God was using me. I knew that God was keeping me. I knew God was, you know, and uh, and um, and one time too, like uh, this uh, elder, this elder, uh, he always looked at me in a in a strange look. He all, and I knew is uh, it was a spiritual attack. You know what I mean? He always looked at me in a strange look, and uh, an elder, he became my friend too, and you know. And like uh, one, uh, I was, my wife was working at Devere's. My wife was working at Devere's. Uh, she's gone for two weeks, and I'm here, and I'm at my place hard time. You know that that sometimes those spirits they uh, worn you out in a, in a uh, physically. Like uh, when you're in that kind of environment, you feel that. You know what I mean? I I, I have to learn to pray before I go every day. I learn to pray to, uh, to God. Says, Lord, you protect me. Lord, the cover me with your precious blood. Lord, uh, Holy Spirit, just guide me, right? That, that, that's my prayers. Like, you know, and uh, you feel that pressure sometimes. I felt that pressure. And uh, this, uh, this, uh, me this uh, medicine man or elder, it, it, uh, like, uh, he does things uh, in a healing and he does the, uh, the, the spiritually stuff, right? And uh, so, anyway, like, uh, I, I, and I, I had a. A, a counter, and I, I like I confronted. You know what I mean? In that, in that, in, in this work too, right? So, uh, and I, and I, and I felt so tired right now that, that that day when they were doing right, right? I went home and uh, I was by myself, and uh, I just, my goodness, I was so tired because of the, you know, when you're dealing with the demonic stuff, when you're dealing with the different spirit, it warns you out in the flesh sometimes. And that's why I felt. I don't feel like that all the time. That time, I did feel like that. And uh, and I remember uh, going to my room. I, I I went back to sleep. I said, Lord, I said, I don't want. I had enough. I don't want to go back to work. Said, find me another job. He said. I said to the Lord, eh? you know, find me another job. I'm tired of this here. I'm gonna quit. That's good enough. I said, I don't want. I don't want to deal with this all the time. You know, I want. I want to be at church. I want to be where the Christian. You know what I mean? So uh, I lay back. I fall asleep. I fall asleep, but I was so tired, worn out. Tired, yeah, and I was sleeping there, and I, all of a sudden, uh, all of a sudden, this uh, in the front of my bed, that that medicine man was standing like this. He was standing like this, and uh, well, I was, uh, you know, what I mean, he was standing like this, and uh, and he and he smiled at me, and he and he in my room, in my home, my apartment, yeah, and he smiled at me. He says, he says, George, he says, I just want to tell you, like. Uh, there's nothing I can do to you. I cannot touch you. 
And he said, uh, Do you, you, know, you know why he said? Because you're protected by the blood. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. You're protected by the blood of Jesus. I cannot touch you. I cannot harm you. I cannot do anything to you. And I just want you to know, I just want you to know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what he said. Then uh, I, that, when I got up like that, I don't know if I was lame, but uh, I think I, I got up in the spirit. Like, you know, I was sitting up in my bed. Then I, and then I woke up after. And that was my encounter. Then that's when I started uh, praying, like, Lord, Lord, cover me with your precious blood. The, the, there's power in the blood of Jesus. There's protection in the blood of Jesus. And there is so much power in the blood that no enemy can uh, not touch you. And I, and I would pray for my, for my office. No spirit would, would be able to touch. And uh, I, I, I almost fear. I had, I had to, because what I see, I, I, the fear always got a hold of me too. So that's what happened. It was the blood of Jesus. And I got to learn to, uh, I got to learn to pray. Ask God, protect me with the blood, with your blood, Jesus. That's all. That's the only hope I got. That's the only protection I got. And I've been there uh, 14 years now. 14 years, and uh, and uh, I'm gonna work one more year. And uh, so I know, like, uh, uh, there was power in the blood of Jesus. I just want you to know, like, there's there's nothing that could protect us. Only the blood of Jesus. Only the blood of Christ could protect us. You, you, you know, you gotta have to ask, Lord, protect me. And that's what, and that's what I did. And uh, and I, and I, and I want to thank God for that. And uh, yeah, that's the blood, the Holy Spirit that will guide you, right? Then uh, they were, they were teaching about creation. That uh, there's a traditional way of uh, teaching creation, right? The, uh, the the creator that the created everything it's a different different teachings right but when I when before that Lord uh, the before I went to those uh, workshop or t uh, training I, I look at uh, the, the creation stories uh, uh, the word of God from Psalms how he created the heavens how he created the the sea how he created the trees how the uh, how the animals worship him how the uh, how the birds we're singing to the Lord. I, I sing. I I, I read. I read those scriptures before I go to those teachings. I have to. What I was doing is standing on the Word of God. That's what I was doing. I got to learn to stand on the Word of God to, uh, so I won't get deceived. I won't get sub seduced. You know what I mean? I want to get sub seduced in that area. So, uh, so you know, like the teachings is way off, like right. But uh, in the same time, I don't say nothing. But I know who I am. I know who created everything. I don't know. Who, I know who our, who our who's our creator that created heaven and earth. Amen. So uh, uh, God, uh, it, it's the word of God that the, the devil. When the devil came against Jesus, he used the word of God to tempt him, right? And uh, in my work, I got to learn to use the word. I had to prepare. You, I had to have the word in me, because if you don't have the word in you, he won't be able to fight, right? Yeah, that, that's what happens. So, uh, so anyway, like uh, those are the experiences that that uh, that I have, and uh, many experiences that I, that, that I that that I have through the years working at the Friendship Center. So, uh, and after a while, after a couple of years, uh, you know, uh, a lady, a traditional lady, a drummer, a, a drummer, a traditional lady, says uh, her name is Karen. And he, yeah, he said, she said, uh, she goes to the jail, like, uh, the, you know, the, that's the work that, uh, with, uh, with uh, our Virgil people. So anyway, like, uh, she told me, George, he says, the first day you walk into the door, I've been watching you. I've been watching you, George. I've been watching your life. You know, he said, you, you're, you have a different, you, you said, uh, you, you're, you have a different life. You, you have a good life. And uh, that scripture came to me that that you you are the living. He said, "I've been I've been watching. I've been reading your word. I've been reading your life." That and first time that uh, I mean, like it was there. I understood it. Yeah, we are the living epistles, right? 
the, the, the people don't read the word and we're, we're the 11 epistles. And the first time I realized that, uh, that we had to whack in the word. We had to live in the word. You know, and like we had to whack in the light. So people will see that light. Yeah, so, uh, and, uh, and another lady there, she's another court worker. Yeah, her name, uh, she's really searching for the Lord now. She's, really, she's, like, she's been asking. They, uh, I'll show you about that after. He said, she came to me, her name is Lori. And she said, Lord, George, I just want to tell you something. I watch the elders. I watch people that, that teach us. And said, uh, you're the most traditional person that I ever seen. You're the, you're the, you know, you're the most, uh, uh, most traditional elder that I've seen. You practice what you, what, uh, what, you, what you teach. You see what I mean? Like, I didn't even know, my goodness, like, I didn't even know people were watching me. And a lot of times we think that people don't watch. They watch our, what, what we say, what we do, our actions. And, uh, and uh, that's what happened. And, uh, uh, then uh, is it, and uh, Lori said, can you come to our uh, business at our place? I took my wife there one time, right, honey? Uh, Mark, and uh, Mark, uh, she, she's a psychologist. He's a psychologist. And uh, he was a religious, he's a religious guy, law. He, he studies the law the, in the Bible. And uh, he read the Bible 13 times. He read through the Bible. He, he knows the word. But he doesn't, uh, he's not born again yet, right? Not born again yet. When uh, uh, when they asked me, like, we like to ask you a few questions. We like to, uh, you know, in your beliefs. And uh, said, when did you come over and visit us? You know, we'll have supper, you know what I mean? And uh, all you want to do is argue. And uh, before I, I, I prayed, I said, I said to my wife, pray for me. Like, uh, I'm kind of uh, scared, like uh this guy is educated, you know what I mean? He read this Bible 13 times in the, through the Bible. Like, uh, I'm going to get trapped, you know what I mean? I'm, uh, you know, this guy is educated, you know. I don't have that kind of education, but he has, you know what I mean? Like, uh, some uh, fear comes on me, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I was nervous. I was scared. So I went over to their place, and here I am. And, and I also I also said, Lord, I, I, I don't know. You better, like I said, you better bring back the word, uh, some word and uh, I go back up. I said, <laughs> through the Holy Spirit, right? <laughs> you you got to guide me. You got you to get a human talk, right? Just being human, like that's all I said. I'm scared. Like, you know what I mean? And um, so anyway, like we start talking and all that. And uh, then uh, the Lord told me, like, uh, don't say nothing, but share your testimony. That's all he did. Don't say nothing, but share your testimony. How you, you know, like, uh, so, uh, so I shared my testimony with him. I said, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know nothing, but uh, but Christ being crucified. That's all, you know. Like I was religious. I, uh, I was like the Godemus. I said, I went to church. I was never born again. I was never born in the spirit. He said, oh, you know, like. Uh, and, and uh, he said, you know, we're all, and I said, we know, like I was a sinner. Like, uh, you know, why you call yourself sinner? You know, well, he, like, uh, the, I said, I'm, he said, I'm not a sinner. You know what you just said? I, I told him one time, he said, hey, anyone that tells me that I never sin is a liar. <laughs> That's what I said. I, and I read that scripture to him. I said, you know, people, uh, anyone that says I have no sin. It's a liar. The truth is not in him. So, are you are you lying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I could tell you that I'm a Christian. I go to church. I make mistakes. I said, you know, it's only by the grace of God. I said, right? You know, I don't, I don't, I don't tend to know everything. I said, you know, like uh, it's only the it's it's part of growing. So uh, we became friends, and they're coming close to to uh, to, to know the Lord. And they, one time they called me up here about the end times. They want to know what's going on around the world. So uh, I had a chance to go visit them. I had a chance. So anyway, like uh, I, it's the Holy Spirit, the anointed one that will teach you. And I get crushed. And I get there's uh, and I get um, some some people that mix. 
the gospel and the, and the traditional. I got some people like that there. And he was telling me, we're serving the same God. They tell me it's the it's a it's the spirit of it's a it's the same spirit he says. And I said, I don't think so. I said, it's not the same spirit. And I, I read that scripture is that uh, it says that uh, little children, it is the last hour that that you had heard that the antichrist is coming. Even now, many antichrists had come, and it talks about there. It, it's the spirit of antichrist. I said, I don't have the spirit of antichrist. I have the spirit of Christ. Uh, you know, like uh, God put me, uh, God uh, uh, put me in those situations. You know, I said, like uh, I don't, I don't agree with that. I said, I, my, uh, the the Holy Spirit teaches me and guides me. I have the I have the Holy Spirit that, that teaches me how to live and how it teaches me from the Word. And I said, it's, it's not the same spirit. It's it's the spirit of, and that's what they say. It's the same. It's the same spirit, right? So uh, those are the stuff that I that I uh, went that I that I experienced as serving the Lord at the Friendship Center. There's many things that I uh, I could share, but those are the main things I want to share, tell you. That uh, yeah, one more thing. Then I was sharing to the I was sharing that we were sharing this with Louis about the identity. They say that if we go back to our to our roots, if we go back to our uh, uh, if we go back to uh, our our names, then we could have a, a healing. Then we gonna have a good life. And uh, and I and I ta- I was talking to this lady and I and uh, a traditional lady and she's a Christian and she claims to be a Christian, right? But you know the fruits. Uh, you shall know them by their fruits, right? So anyway, like uh, so anyway, I said like uh. Yes, I, I do believe that we should go back to our uh, identities. You know, we ca- we all came from Adam. I said, you know what I mean? God, that uh, Adam before he sinned, uh, his identity was with God. God created Adam. I said, but he fall right, and the through Christ we have our identity back. We know who we are. We know our language doesn't bring feeling. Our language is uh, uh, came from the the, uh, the 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 tower. That's where the line, different languages came. But here, I like uh, I'm not here to. Uh, I'm not a man that the fights. I'm not a man that argue. You know what I mean? Like uh, there's a scripture that what I, one thing that I learned uh, as uh, as a believer, it says that be be uh, be harmless as a dove. And, uh, be harmless as a dove and. Uh, be wise as a servant, right? Yeah, so uh, to protect yourself. So I thought that's how I would share this to you. And thanks for uh, coming out and uh, hear my uh, testimony, uh, Pastor Louis. Got to carry another mic because we're on there. Just uh, first of all, I'd like to, uh, can you uh, just pray for, for George? Um, you just heard, like, I mean, uh, we've learned a lot of things this morning. We've learned about the the native culture and you know and uh, I know there's a, there's a you have a there's a fight in the realms of the spirit right yeah. and uh, so Lord I just pray for George I thank you for the ministry that he shared with us this morning thank you Lord God for everything he shared and Father we just uh, thank you uh, for, for the anointing that he cares to be able to work with the people that you need to touch and Heavenly Father we pray for the uh, the First Nation people that are, are over there and, and George and others are ministering to, Lord God. And Lord, it's all because, Lord, you want to impart light in the darkness, Lord God. And people are looking. And I pray and believe, Lord God, that supernaturally, even now, uh, even if he is going to not quit but retire pretty soon, that you will bring people over, that he will be able to, you will be able, through George, be able to minister to them and they will change from darkness to light, Lord God. And I just pray for that. And I believe for that, Lord. Empower George even more and his wife, Jackie. Thank you for sending them here, Lord God, and to mentor us and to encourage us. And it's so awesome to have a guest speaker like them, Lord. And we just praise you and thank you for it. There's another one. There's another thing uh, that I want to share before I, I close. And it's this. Um, I, I don't know if I should mention names, but... Guy, you were there, and I've never shared this with you. 
Never. I always meant to share this, but do you remember when you played guitar at the Civic Center? You remember when you took your guitar and walked on stage? Well, something supernatural happened to me. And me and Carol, the lady behind me, I know her personally. And she's an intercessor. She's a prayer warrior from in the heart. Anyway, uh, so the Holy Spirit, as soon as you start to play the guitar, the love of God, the love of the Father came over me so much. It was unbelievable. And I, I, I always wondered, well, well, why is that, Lord? Why? And I, I felt that God wanted you. Now I, I understand more. He has this love for the native community that's unbelievable. And he had me experience that, but especially also for you. And I never said that, but he, it's like when you start to sing, you touch his heart so much. And it came from your spirit, man. It came from your heart. And uh, I, so I, I always want to tell you that the next time I see him, I'll, you, know, you know, we haven't seen each other. But, but the thing is, God is love. And I experience the love he has for the First Nation people. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. The experience, and even Carol, when we talked about that, she experienced something similar at the same, same, same time. So I just want you to know that. I want you guys to know that. The love of God. God loves the nations of the world, right? There's no difference in color and language, nothing. And so I'm so thankful for that, right? And so, uh, you know, Jesus says, you know, that they may be one as we are one, right? That they love one another. So, uh, so I just want to share that. And so uh, thank you so much uh, for coming this morning. Yes, Dinesh. Okay, so you can close that.